Hi guys, Chuck here from KK6 USY Ham Radio Adventures. So the other day I asked my mom, who's in her 90s, Hey mom, do you have a flashlight? And she said, not anymore. Let me show you what I got for her. So my mom's in her 90s. And up until the world took a change, she was delivering meals on wheels to people younger than me. Some, not all. And uh, she finally decided to, to quit that. But the other day, I was talking to her before Christmas, and uh, I asked her what she wanted for Christmas, and she never, she always says, I, I have everything, I don't need anything. But during our discussion, she uh, mentioned that with PG&E, uh, with the wildfires and stuff, they do rolling brownouts now and what they'll do is they'll on a windy day even in the summertime they will they will turn down the uh, power and t or shut up the power at your place and she happens to be in one of those areas that happens so i picked up a jackery uh, solar uh, generator for her, and i showed her how it worked and everything but i was thinking um how is she gonna if it's dark how is she gonna see it just to be able to turn it on and use it and because uh, she likes to read so she's perfectly fine with that but she was a little concerned about the, the brownouts so I bought her that Jackery. I'll put a link to that and the flashlight down into the uh, uh, description if you're interested. So let's check this thing out. I'll take it out. I'll take the flashlight out, do it in the dark and I'll show you uh, of what came in the box. Okay so here's the uh, Amazon page that I found this on. It's a handheld flashlight 7100 lumen. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that is the high setting comes with a uh, 26650 rechargeable battery which is irreplaceable uh, and it is LED and it you can recharge it with a USB cord all right so here's the pictures of it I'll just show you that picture so what they call four core lamp beads and if you if you look at the picture oops if you look at the picture up here you can see the uh, four different chips there's the battery inside and, and when you're charging um, it, it turns red until it's charged and then it goes to green and then the green light for the that's that's the on off button that also turns on when you uh, switch the light on and there's how you put it in and there's just a picture of it compared to some headlights and there it is showing you that it's water resistant not waterproof all right so here it is on the site um, Today is Wednesday, so for me it's a one-day delivery, so that's not bad. Not what it actually is, how it's pronounced. Open the box here. Here's the instructions. Not much to that really. All right, here's the battery and the charging cord. And then here's the flashlight. So it's XT50, there's the name again. Let's pull the battery out. Charging cord. Uh, not a USB-C, it's a, a mini, I think, or micro, I, I, I never know which is which. Uh, let's install the battery. Oops. Hmm. Guess that's just a spacer. Oops. Missed it there. There we go. All right. So there's the. Uh, this is the button to turn it on. When you turn it on, it has a high and low. That's high. That's slow, and I'll do a test outside in the dark since it is dark right now. Okay, phone video, total darkness. So here's the light on high. That's high. There's low. It's probably better than it looks on the camera. There's it is right down the close. Go back to high. So on this one, you uh, push and pull the front of the, the uh, flashlight to change the, the actual 
beam. So there's pushing it down. And there's all the way in. And we started it all the way out. And then again, medium. It's a pretty good beam, plenty of light. And to adjust the, uh, the pattern, the beam pattern, it's a push-pull. All the way out is, is a tight, um, small spot, and then flood is all the way back. All right. Seems to be made pretty good. It's aluminum, it looks like, and uh, pretty well made. There's the, uh, there's the uh, LED. It does throw that little square pattern when you get it in the, the most narrow pattern. The one thing I think, let's see, it just barely sits on the front like that. The This thing bulges, bulges out of them, you guys can see it there. And it shows you here the go in and out. Then we have the charging port, it's right here. And you can, just a USB charger. It could be more simple. The nice thing about this one is you can actually change the battery if it uh, ever goes bad. Let's, let's see, let me pull that battery out and let's see if we can get a number off of that. 26,650, you guys. Let's see here. There you go. And a lot of Chinese writing. Probably their own brand. All right, so it's a pretty nice flashlight. It may not be the best flashlight, but it'll do what's intended for her. And if I have any problems with it later on, I will uh, put that in the uh, description down below too, if it, if it just fails to work after a month or whatever. Uh, it's pretty easy, simple for her to use. It does have the charging light. I don't know if I showed, the, the charging light when you, the switch when you push it, uh, that turns red when you're charging it. And uh, so, Pretty nice little flash today. Hey, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the all button on the bell. That way you'll get all my future videos. And go ahead and hit that like while you're at it. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. 73 all. Catch you on the airwaves. Just be safe.